It has been a long, cold winter. Today, New York City could very well be the first really spring, warm, beautiful day we have had yet in 2014. And on a Friday, what is the best spirit to toast this long-awaited spring? We're joined by beef eater U.S. brand ambassador Nick Van Teel. Van Teel. For tips on making fresh spring cocktails. Nick, how are you? I'm fantastic. Uh, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming Thank, on today. Thanks for having me. Nice so, to be here on such a, a spring day. Right. We finally got a good day. Uh, I go home tonight. I want a cocktail. Why is gin good for the springtime? People just get really excited about drinking uh, in the garden, on the rooftop, catching up with friends and drinking long, refreshing drinks uh, at this time of year. Mm -hmm. I actually drink gin all year, but for some, pe some reason, people get really excited about drinking gin at this time of year. Right. And I think the, the fresh... Uh, flavors and all the fresh fruits and all that sort of stuff just lend themselves so well to gin because it has all these beautiful fresh citrusy uh, floral botanicals mm -hmm. uh, already in the in the spirit so so if i if i'm at home go rummaging through the kitchen rummaging through the refrigerator what should i be looking to mix with my gin sure so uh, i mean the first thing you need is a good quality gin and if you think of that as like a pre-mixed cocktail almost a lot of the flavors already inside mm -hmm. the gin so then you can really mix it with anything that you have in the, in the refrigerator any type of fresh uh, fruits great, especially citrus, uh, any type of uh, nice uh, herbs like mint are um, uh, fantastic. And you can also mix uh, like other uh, things in there like sparkling wine or champagne as well. All right, now I clearly have a, quite an array here that you brought with you. What are you going to make for us to get spring underway? Uh, we're going to make one of my, my favorite spring cocktails called a jasmine. It's a, sort of a riff on a classic cocktail that uh, has uh, gin with uh, some really other, some other really nice uh, citrus mm -hmm. flavors. So. Um, all right, and, gonna there, and you're going to use uh, very exacting measurements, right? I am. Yes, I am. of course. And that's one of the important things about making drinks as well. I mean, you can interpret recipes to a point, but you really want to uh, make sure that you're following them fairly closely. So mm -hmm. we're using some Beef Eater 24 gin, uh, which is a great gin for this particular drink. Uh, we're using an ounce and a half of uh, Beef Feeder 24 for each cocktail. Mm -hmm. uh, and this has grapefruit and two types of green tea in the botanical recipe. So it, um, it's really going to bring out some of the citrus flavors that we uh, get from um, this liqueur here, which is a Contro. It's a beautiful French citrus liqueur. So we're going to put three quarters of an ounce uh, in for each cocktail. Uh, some fresh squeezed lemon juice as well, which I squeezed uh, just moments ago, so it's really nice and fresh. And that's a super <laughs> important thing uh, when you're going through the refrigerator at home. Make sure if you're going to use any type of produce, particularly fruit, uh, that you use super fresh stuff. Super fresh. Lemon's it's, important. Yeah, very, okay. very much so. And we're going to use half an ounce of Campari, which is a, a really nice Italian liqueur. Uh, I know it well. So, Not too um, well, everyone. Don't get worried about me out there, but yeah, I know it. Um, so that's going to bring a, a really nice uh, touch of bitterness to this cocktail. Mm -hmm. And got some ice. You got top your that ice with some there. ice. Yeah. Um, good ice is important for making good cocktails as well. Uh, but you can get those really nice uh, big rubber ice molds for your freezer so you can have some, yeah. some good quality ice in it. That was, that was very impressive action you had there. It's, like uh, the it's been on many years of practice, but yeah. uh, certainly if you're going to shake a cocktail, you want to get in there and, and give it a good shake. Uh, make sure you're uh, mixing all those ingredients together mm -hmm. well making sure you're getting that right level of dilution and aeration in the cocktail as well. Um, so this is one of my favorite spring cocktails. It's called the Jasmine. It's a fantastic uh, gin cocktail. We're just going to spray a little bit of uh, lemon oil over the top of that um, just to help with the aroma as well. So again, super simple drink and you can find these, uh, these ingredients um, at any liquor All store right. in, in the neighborhood. So. All right, well, uh, yeah. Cheers to spring, Nick Cheers. Van Teel. Let's take a sip of this one. Check your handiwork. Uh, that's very nice. Thank you very much. That's very nice. I'm ready to start spring, ready to start the weekend. Me too. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's, uh, let's finish these. Nick Van Teel, U.S. Brand Ambassador for Beef Eater. Thanks for coming in today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having it. me. Much appreciated. And everyone, have a good spring. Happy to have you with us.